You know, Jesus, like billions of others in human history, has heard the state bureaucrat or someone else say, we can't tolerate you anymore. We just can't tolerate you anymore. Uh, we, we, we don't want you around anymore. You're not worthy of life, and we're going to kill you. That's what everyone's being told. As intentionally destroyed by another. You are not worthy of life. You are not worthy of life. You are not any longer worthy of life. And therefore, because you are not worthy of life any longer, we're going to take life from you. That's what killing people is about, taking life from them. And so, you know that, that um, the question has to be raised. Who is worthy of life? Am I worthy of life? Are you worthy of life? Is your neighbor worthy of life? Is Barack Obama worthy of life, George Bush? Is the person who, 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 who uh, his name is Billy Ray Richter, and, and, he, and he killed a man down in Tennessee, and he was executed for it. Uh, not Tennessee, Arkansas, and he was executed for it. Is he worthy of life? Who is worthy of life? If we're being honest with ourselves, none of us is worthy of life. Not one of us. I didn't bring myself into existence. You didn't bring yourself into existence. There's nothing I could do or you could do before you were in existence that would make us worthy of life. None of us is worthy of life. All of us are unworthy of life. You know, there was a law uh, passed in Germany on the basis of a philosophy that predated the Nazis, actually. And it was actually entitled that, Life Unworthy of Life. It was the idea that there was some life uh, people who were mentally retarded, uh, physically gravely disabled, and so forth, who just weren't worthy of life. And therefore, life should be taken from them. It was a waste of resources, even, to, 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 to let them live, to support their living. They were unworthy of life. But the question is, if I, a problem is, if I, if I am unworthy of life because it was just given to me, I didn't earn it. If I am unworthy of life and I have life, and it was just given to me by the giver of life, God, then, then what's the standard and where does it come from that this person or that person this person is unworthy of life, but this person is worthy of life. This person is unworthy of life, but I'm worthy of life. Where, where's that standard come from? Well, what's this? Is it, is it that someone becomes unworthy of life when they take another life? Or someone becomes unworthy of life because they're an Asian Indian or an American Indian? Does someone become unworthy of life because they're Japanese or Iraqi or British or Irish? What's the standard for becoming unworthy of life? Does someone become unworthy of life because they're a drag on the economy? Because they can't do the things that an Olympic champion can do? Or that what we call normal people 
which only means they meet a standard of society, do. Is life unworthy of life because a baby is a, a human being uh, only grows to be mentally about five years old over the 30 or 40 years of his life? What stand, once God, the giver of life, makes the decision out of love that this life is worthy of life, Jane or Fred, then how do I make the decision or any human being make the decision that it's unworthy of life? How? Especially since I recognize I didn't earn life. I'm not worthy of life. It was given to me because God loved me. So how do I take life from someone that God equally loved and gave life to? How do I know the when moment when that person becomes unworthy of life? And of course, the unworthy of life, we remember the story of the woman caught in adultery that's brought to Jesus, and, and they're, they're going to kill her because this is a capital offense in, in, uh, in, to in the Torah. And, um, and Jesus says to the, to the people who have come to kill her, the scribes and the Pharisees, let the one who is without sin cast the first stone. Does sin make one unworthy of life? What sins make one unworthy of life? If God forgives all sin, which God does, a God who's, who's made visible by Jesus, if God forgives all sin and doesn't take life from people because they sin, why, by what standard do I make the decision to kill someone because they've sinned? Who set me up as the decider of who is worthy and who is not worthy of life after, after God himself found this person worthy of life and gave this person life because he loved him or her? We are all unworthy of life. You all know, everyone out You, I mean, listen to the Mass today, you know, when we go to Mass, right before communion, we say, all of us say, worldwide, over a billion Catholics every Sunday, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof. And other churches say that too, besides Catholic in the West. And in the Eastern Church, just before communion, people say, I believe and profess that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, come into this world to save sinners, of whom I am the greatest. How can the greatest throw stones at anyone else to take? If I'm the greatest sinner, why am I still living and destroying this person? Why am I not the one that's unworthy of life? Because what God makes worthy and values infinitely and loves infinitely can only be made unworthy of life by God. And if God doesn't do it, where do I get the right to walk up to a person and say, I can't tolerate you anymore. You're in my way. You are unworthy of life. You must die. This is the reality that we're dealing with. And yet, and yet no one is unworthy of life. Because God, who is father, mother, parent, loves each and all, gave each and all life, made each and all by his decision, God's decision, made each and all worthy of life. And therefore, and therefore, this is why, this is why God himself Jesus incarnate, Jesus, God incarnate. This is why God himself stood with the executed, not with the executors. Life itself stood with those who have been told they are no longer worthy of life and must be destroyed. Capital punishment is not what Jesus taught. It's what Jesus suffered 
union with and communion with all those who have been told along with him we cannot tolerate you anymore we do not need you anymore you are in our way you are a sinner who have been told you are unworthy of life so we are going to end your life that's what jesus heard and suffered never 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 did God and the Jesus he revealed, did the Jesus and the God he revealed, ever have that as the idea of what it was that was good, that was holy, that was what human beings should be doing with the life that God gave them, the life that God gave them because he infinitely valued them and infinitely loves them forever.